Welcome to Plague, Black Death. The Black Death was one of the deadliest pandemics in history. It spread across Europe in the 14th century, killing millions of people. Caused by the bacterium Yersinia pestis, it was carried by fleas on rats. Victims suffered from painful swellings, fever, and often death. The disease spread quickly in crowded cities with poor sanitation. It caused widespread fear and changed societies forever. The Black Death remains a haunting reminder of the power of infectious diseases. Hello and welcome. Today, we're diving into one of the most fascinating diseases called Plague, also known as the Black Death. This video will take you on a journey through time to explore how this devastating pandemic reshapes societies, economies, and cultures across the globe. In this video, you'll learn what caused the plague and how it spread so rapidly, the role of fleas, rats, and different routes in its transmission, the staggering impact it had on populations with millions of lives lost, there are three species of medical importance of Yersinia. Yersinia pestis that causes plague. Yersinia enterocolitica causes gastroenteritis. Yersinia pseudotuberculosis. Today we are talking about Yersinia pestis, gram-negative cocobacilli that show bipolar staining with geme sustain look like safety pin, non-motile and non-capsulated virulence factors of Yersinia pestis. Adhesins help attachment of the organisms to their target cell. Envelope protein, fracture 9's finds. Virulence plasmid, found only in virulent strains. Endotoxin, induce inflammation and fever. Coagulase, plasminogen, activating protease. Envelope protein, fraction 1. It likes capsule, has antiphagocytic activity. Coagulase leads to blood clotting. Plasminogen, activating protease helps in dissemination and degrades fibrin and extracellular proteins. Three forms of human plague are found. Plague has three clinical forms. One, bubonic plague. Two, pneumonic plague. Three, septicemic plague. Mode of transmission. It transmitted to man either directly or through insect vector. Urban rodents, particularly rats, serve as the primary reservoir hosts for the plague bacterium, Yersinia pestis. These rodents live in close proximity to humans, especially in areas with poor waste management and overcrowding. Vector transmission. Fleas, Xenopsilla chiopes, act as the primary vectors. They feed on infected rodents, ingesting the bacteria. When an infected rodent dies, the fleas leave the dead host and seek new sources of blood, often biting humans or other animals. When a rat flea feeds on infected rat, the ingested organisms multiply in the gut of the fleas, helped by coagulase which block the proventriculus so that when it bites a human, contaminate the bite wound by Yersinia form regurgitation. In bubonic plague, it transmitted by bites of fleas or from rodent to human? In bubonic plague, the lymph node become enlarged, red painful near the site of the bite. Three septicemic plague may occur as a primary infection by flea bite or direct contact with animals or as a complication of bubonic or pneumonic plague. Endotoxin cause disseminated intravascular coagulation lead to ischemia and what we called black death. Pathogenesis of septicemic plague. Endotoxin present in Yersinia pestis cause disseminated intravascular coagulation lead to ischemia and what we called black death. Pneumonic plague. It develop by droplets or inhalation from infected individual. Highly contagious. It may occur as a primary infection or as a complication of bubonic plague. Can be transmitted from human to human, causing pandemic transmission. Laboratory diagnosis of plague. Specimens are aspiration from enlarged lymph node. Culture of sputum. Blood culture. 
Direct detection of the capsular F1 antigen by fluorescent staining. Smear preparation from samples shows cocobacilli with bipolar staining with methylene blue or GEMSA stain. Culture of blood agar shows fried egg appearance after 72 hours. Prophylaxis of plague. Immunization with Hafkin's vaccine, it is heat-killed vaccine. Also a live attenuated vaccine is available called EU strain. In addition to anti-flea and anti-rat measures, thank you for joining us on this journey through the history and science of the plague. We hope this lecture has given you a deeper understanding of the plague. If you have any questions or want to explore further, feel free to reach out. Until next time, study well. Goodbye. I hope you understand the plague. Thank you. See you in the next video. Goodbye.